Hey, this is Ronnie Boom, and today we are making Sparta a darkroom spawner using Craftbook Bridges. This is my own design, and it's one of the most intense spawners I have ever seen. This grinder is an incredible way to level up your MCMMO combat skills. So there are several important steps to making this grinder. Just click the annotations if you want to go to one of them. The first is to build a structure. This is a massive structure out of cobble. The larger you can make it, the better and more efficient your grinder will be. Then we have to learn about bridge signs, how to make them, and how to use them. We need the redstone timer and how to hook it up to all the bridge signs. You're going to have to work on a water stream pretty much on your own. It's, it's simple. Um, there are lots of videos on it. I can probably link one to you. Um, just a way to use water streams to funnel all the mobs into a central kill location how to make a good kill location. And then you also need to, one of the most vital steps of using that grinder is to light up all the surrounding area that's within spawnable range. Now let's get to the video. Click on any of the annotations if you want to skip to that portion of the video. If you don't have Craftbook and you can't use bridges, here's a good design for a grinder that'll work on any other server. This works in vanilla. So basically you make a spawn room, this will be completely dark zombies little spawn or other mobs and on the same timer that I use in this video the zombies will be the water will be released which will make the zombies flow down Oops, the walls need to be higher <laughs> obviously they would be higher in a normal situation because this would be a completely enclosed dark room then they flow down to a water stream which collects all the mobs and then you can kill them down here for MCMMO experience or for mob drops. This could go to a sorter, it could go to an automatic kill machine, um, but this is a very effective mob grinder. Um, and it can be iterated as large and as tall as you want. Um, this is not the timer that I use in my video. Just uh, check out my video for the timer reference and uh, it'll show you how to do that. This is just a, a simpler one that has a water stream that lasts a little bit too long. All right, so Sparta's gonna let me in and show me around. Okay, Let's get started. Start. I'm up here. Okay, great. You already have this structure set up um, with with floors. That's perfect. So right. we should uh, we should give everybody uh, a rundown on what Heavens has done so far to get this going. Yeah, um, I'm I'm gonna use my fly command illegally. <laughs> um, just to, just to show them. Okay, so tutorial. Yes. so basically what he's done is he's created a giant cobble structure. You can build it out of anything, but inside is all layers and layers and layers of too high, with spaces that are too, too high, um, and this is just big enough to spawn mobs. And what we're going to do is we're going to create bridge signs that go from one side to the other, and they're all going to drop the floors out periodically on a timer. And what, what's gonna happen is we'll knock the torches out and mobs will spawn in here and then at random time or at certain time intervals, all the mobs will fall down to a water pit down at the bottom. The water will funnel all of these mobs into the center where you'll have a kill area and that's where you can kill them and level up your MCMMO skills, gather the drops. You could have a hopper system under, near, under there that'll automatically, automatically sort all the mob drops. You can do whatever you want. You can have uh, pistons pull the floor away and, and lead it to a drop so that all the mobs fall and automatically die. In fact, it's required to have a kill switch. <clears throat> but this is gonna be pretty cool. We've done this several times before with several different designs. Some work better than others. Um, but this one we have not built before, but I think it's a better design than we have actually built it. I built a, a, t a small test one um, The timer isn't going to be the same as what we use, but uh, I have built it so now the spawn rate the mob spawn rate on the server is Is not bad. It's actually pretty decent But it's divided among all the players online and with this many players online the spawn rate is gonna seem very very low but if you can log on at a time when most players are inactive or most players are not online, then you could see some ridiculously high mob rates um, in, in this kind of spawner. Yeah, another trick uh, 
is so one thing you're, you're going to want to do is light up all of the land everywhere that's in your render distance or in your faction base's render distance. So one of the pieces of this project is Heaven's Hero and his faction are going to want to go out and uh, light up all the caves, put torches everywhere. So no mobs spawn around the base, they're all spawning in his mob spawner. Now, you could even take it a step further and light up the areas around other people. So if you're if you're on um, late night or a time when there's not a lot of other people on, but you see the same people that are on um, frequently, you could go up and light their bases so they have less mobs spawning around them, therefore you have more. Okay, and we can start right up here at the top. Let's count the spaces across. This is going to be one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How do I, are you letting me up? 29 by 1, oh. 2, 28. 29 by 28. Okay, so some few things that, um, about craft book bridges that we need to know. Lift up, top side. Possible. Okay. Okay, so one thing about craft book bridges is the maximum width you can make a craft book bridge is uh, 11. So 5 on one side, 5 on the other side, and then the 11th is the actual row that the sign is on. So and then they can be up to 30 blocks away from each other. So the two signs that make up the bridge can be a total of 30 blocks. If it's 31 blocks, they won't work. Okay, so we're on. Where are we? I'm all the way to the top. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm here. Okay. Did you put a ladder in this? Yeah, there's a ladder in all the floors. Oh, I see it. Okay. Ron's at the top. Do you want to get Adam and get this guy call? Would he want to be in here? Because you guys could kind of work for us. Because we there's lots of repetitive tasks for this. Yeah, I'll start in. I'll just check with him out here. <laughs> Ron, we don't want to activate him yet because the torches. What about the torches? When we when we put them back, um, we'll just leave them. I'll leave them off. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. So I'll get I'll get this side. Okay, I need signs. Okay, uh, here you go. Let's go down about, um, let's do about 10 rows. And okay. We'll work on the redstone. And they can copy us. Okay. After that, it can be the bottom. So, one thing you're going to want to know is what they, what set up, or what the signs say, and what direction they're facing. Okay. Uh, Ron, you're doing a 5-5 five, five bridge, 5-5 five, yep. five bridge, and then a what bridge? A 5-5, five, five, a 5-5, five, five, and then a 2-5. Two, but two, five. 2 is the left side, and 5 is the right side, so you're going to do 5-2. I think they changed it, so 2 is the, so two is the bottom, so it's 5-2, right? 2 is the left side, or sorry, the top is the left side, and the bottom is the right side. Are you sure? Yes. So I thought the bridge is going to be three wide. Nope. If you put these numbers under them, you can make it up to five, up to um, eleven wide. Uh, so, so the five, the two fives under the bridge sign represent five blocks going to the left, and then five blocks going to the right. Uh, and uh, that's the maximum size. So it could be maximum of eleven because five plus five plus the middle one is one. 
Oh, and then there's one over here too because of the side. Right. Oh, right. Got it. it. And then you can even make it smaller. You could do a one. You could do a zero zero bridge, and it would be just a one wide. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so here you go. Take some signs, and you can help me out. All right. Who's Kate? You're gonna join too. Um, I'll watch the first one. I'll see if I can understand it. Cause it's kind of a two-man job. Let have Mountain explain it to you. All right. Okay. Because we're gonna go on. There's some signs for you. We're gonna go on and do something else. We're gonna start okay. putting redstone to it. Okay. Does it, do any of you guys have cobble? No, I'm me, so I can get some. Could you have uh, Heavens go get some cobble for us? They're doing something. We already have mobs spawning in here because we don't have enough torches on, on some of these levels. <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good grinder for you guys. I think it's going to work out good. Especially when we, players are not on. We have never made one this big before. Just to let you know. Okay, then I'm okay. Is this going to be the, the floor? Like the kill floor? Um, what well, I was thinking is uh, take off this layer here, or okay. chop away. I think it is, because I just told him to make a, a, okay. uh, a row of cobble, you know, every three blocks starting here, just to, I don't want to go into big details. Yeah. Hey, Ron. Yeah. You got to, uh, let's just take it away with bridge signs. It's quicker. Oh, that's true. Let's just do it ourselves. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, if you can't get rid of this stone. All of it underneath us? No, um, this one we could just replace that cobblestone over there. Okay, I'll do that. Alright, I'll get Shoot, some more. Shoot, I'm out of wood, Ron. Got some dirty key, give me some signs. Yep. Okay. Alright, thanks. Got a bunch of cobble. <laughs> Does the cobble come out of the sign when you destroy it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, the bridge is not activated. That's kind of cool. You see me run? Yep. That's kind of cool. It just stores it and then it drops out of it. Yeah. Oh, just hold on. Didn't come out for me. Came out for me. Did you? I didn't use an axe. Did you use an axe to kill it? Doesn't matter what you use to kill it. Whoever breaks it first. Oh. Uh, <laughs> cool. You don't get double cobble. <laughs> no, I didn't know you broke it over there. Oh. I thought I just broke it. Yeah, I had already broken it. Well, lots of cobble. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. All right. So the layer above this has to be the water layer. Yeah. Um, it'll probably be take up two layers. Yeah, it'll take two layers for sure. Okay. The area is 15 by 15 chunks, so it's 240 by 240. So okay. that's how far away mouths will spawn from you. That's in every direction. <clears throat> no, it's 128 blocks. Okay, 128. So you yeah. need to you need to have every block within 128 blocks not <laughs> pretty much lit up, um, and that is not from the spawner. That is from your base because if anybody is yeah. in your base but not in the spawner, they will be spawning mobs in a place that you don't want them to be spawning. Right. I would go seven chunks. Seven. Uh, to, I would go eight chunks away from the edges of your of your base. That's how far I would go. Right. In all directions. That's how much you need to light up. Um, Evan, can you get Gibbs to do that? Well, it, it'll it'll be a project. It's not just something. Oh, let's go do yeah. it. You, you guys got to work on it. You know, it's something that you go out and do a couple times, get all the caves. And mobs have such a long way to drop. They need to, to need to be open for as oh. long as it takes a mob to drop ninety blocks. Oh well, then we need to do some tests. Look, you have bones. Yeah. Okay, we can use um a dog. My dog will teleport back to me. Oh. All right. Well, I guess I'll be the one of us will be the guinea pigs. Yep. And water at the bottom. I'll put. Does anybody have water? I have a. I can Someone make a ladder. Start working up on the on the cobble, whatever. Can they go get? 
Um, two buckets of water. No, I, I can... Actually, we need the water anyway. But I can make a ladder. Okay. Okay, Brian. So, go up to the top. This is gonna be a death fall. Actually, I wanna do it. You're gonna die? No, I'm going to not die. Oh. But it's gonna be a daredevil jump. 1796. Are you gonna time it? Yes. What is on that pick? Super <laughs> breaker? Oh. I have a thousand mining, so my super breaker is forever. <laughs> what is it, 18 seconds? 20 something, 22 seconds. You guys are making good progress here. Yeah, the stone kind of messed us up. Okay. All right, ready? Where are you? I'm, I'm gonna do the jump. Right, where are you? <laughs> uh, on the ceiling, on the roof. Okay. You, One, you, do you have a little stopwatch out? Three, four. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Did you land in water? I landed on my ladder. Oh, yeah. And then, on the <laughs> top of the ladder or on the side of the ladder? I didn't know you could land on the top of a ladder. Yeah. Well, that's the lamest thing ever. <laughs> oh, we learn something every day, don't we? Dang it. Can you land on the top of vines? I don't think so. Vines, you can walk through. Ladders, you can. Where are you? Shoot them off. Shoot, shoot them off if they're stacking. Oh, shoot them while they're okay, stacking. I'll go. I'll go. It looks like somebody's going to try and come and attack us or troll us or something. Oh, they're coming up. Oh, they already made one. They're going up behind the first one. Oh, no, no. That one. Yeah. Oh, it's someone intrusive me. It's sushi. <laughs> I'm sushi. What a troll. <laughs> but I, I see like him. Smiling face. That sushi face. <laughs> oh, sushi. I'm gonna. I wanna kill him. <laughs> you can untrust him. <laughs> Did it work? No. Bounced it, off? No, I can't. Let me have. Why not? Just at the troll. Uh, troll. Because someone has a faction called Tsushimata. He's in cruelty, just. I'm just getting close. Oh. You, of course, you have to walk. Ah, uh, you're losing. Yeah. No, no. Oh, you went in well, the you water. You lived, huh? Landed in the water. Yep. That way then. <laughs> 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 Sushi. This is a big wire. <clears throat> that uses pistons and redstone blocks to repeat the signal because it's both instant and it doesn't really lag. I'm back. And I'm leading them all this wire to the bridge signs, which we, we made little holes for. Okay, so we finished the wiring on one side of the bridges. So the timer goes 25 seconds or so, actually it's more like 15, and then all the bridges disappear, dropping all the mobs down to the bottom, and then the bridges reappear um, to make that spawnable area. And we are eventually going to do it to all these rows of signs. And we are going to extend the time in between the drops. Um, I made it so that the timer opens us up for about three seconds. That's adjustable as well. I want just enough of time for the very top bridge to fall all the way down. I think that's really cool. And it's fun to watch too. So every couple seconds, boom, gone. Now visually, it looks like they're all disappearing on the way down, but really they're disappearing instantly. Um, if I were down at the bottom, it would look like they would disappear on the way up. I render the things that are closer to me faster, but it's instant both ways. So the mobs don't actually fall and hurt themselves. 
Pretty cool. Hey everyone. Hey everyone, this is Ronnie Gaboom, and I'm here to show off the redstone of the grinder. So basically, we have a hopper timer here. This is two hoppers pointing at each other. This hopper is pointing at this one. This hopper is pointing at this one. They have a number of items inside that determines how long this system goes. 0.7 seconds per item times two. So right now, if we have, for example, about 15 items in there, it'll take about 15 seconds, a little bit less. So this hopper timer will lead into this redstone torch. Okay, so there's a group, a circle of six hoppers, all pointing into each other in this direction, as you can see. One goes to there, that goes to there, blah, 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 all the way around in a circle. Now this circle of hoppers only has a couple items in it. It has six items in it, and this acts as the timer for the gates to open. So what happens is, this torch keeps prevents these things from going all the way back to the beginning, and this one holds the rest while this timer is running. As soon as the timer runs out, it opens up, it triggers the right side, then this one triggers the left side, then it's held up here until the cycle is over, and it goes again. Outside, we have something far more complicated. Um, it's, it's actually very, very simple how it works, but it's pretty complicated um, because it's so large. Basically, all it is, it's three different redstone wirings that go to all the signs. So every single bridge sign has redstone that runs to it, and that is very important and it's just a very, very, very large scale. And this took me and Brian a couple of hours. We've been working on this literally all day, but that's all it takes. Two people can build this in a day. So I'm gonna head down here to show you how this works. Here are all the bridge signs. They go all the way down and they lead into a single chamber. Water streams channel everything to the center Now, in order to make this safe, I'm going to block these off with cobble. And fill the rest of this up with half slabs. In fact, something cool to do would be to replace these half slabs with hoppers. Okay, so hoppers down, cobblestone. And we can turn this on. <clears throat> and basically what that does is that opens up all the bridges. So all the bridges are now closed and they will open on a timer. <clears throat> Mobs are spawning right now in all the dark spaces. And at the end of the cycle, they all open. The mobs fall to the bottom and they get funneled using that water stream into the center. And then we can kill them. This is what the spawner looks like after just a few seconds of turning it on. Okay, kill him. 
Okay, now this kill location is not the best kill location. Because of the width of it, it's easy for some skeletons to see you when they're on the other side, or possibly even creepers, and blow you up. Ideally, you want a spider separator that'll separate them to a different location. And you also want to make sure that it's only one block wide with hoppers underneath it, so it automatically sucks up the items and nothing can see you. Alright, all dead. Nope, they're back. Zombie head, <laughs> music discs. Good stuff. 19. And they're still coming. Well, we got music discs out of that? Yeah. Hmm. Because uh, if, uh, if a skeleton shoots and kills a creeper, you get a random music disc. That's how you get any music disc. If it wasn't for MCMO, that'd be the only way to get some of them. Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna increase this. I increased it by, by eight, eight blocks. That's like 50 to 60% more time in between drops. More of a spawn interval. So we'll have bigger waves. I'm not sure what the sweet spot is. I'm not sure what the the best time interval to do is. But this is a pretty cool system. This is a great grinder. Yeah, it is. This is a really nice grinder. There are how many people on? 12 people on right now. Um, imagine only one third of this would be the normal spawn rate if there were and 36 And they still have to torch up the land. I think you should reduce the interval a little bit. I should redo what? Reduce it, the interval. Reduce it? Yeah. Okay. I took six blocks out. Before I, I added eight before. Oh, this is a great way to get <laughs> spider eyes, string. We're, we're not going to have a shortage of those. We just built these guys a monster. <laughs> They're going to be yep. the new superpower of the server. <laughs> Maybe. But this is uh Unless they get raided. <laughs> yeah, this this mob spawner is extremely valuable for anyone that wants MCMO on the server. Ronnie and I used to have one. And uh, that's why we don't need it anymore, because we got our own MCO MCMO caps. Oh, there are, there are lots of mobs stuck in the sides because we didn't finish the sides. So we're gonna we're gonna reach a cap, especially zombies. With the half slabs? Yeah. We need to half slab the top. That's that's why our spawn rates dropped. Speaking of yeah. spawn rates dropping, come back downstairs after 10 seconds and they're all here. People are going to be so jealous. I'm jealous, and I made it. Yeah. I'm jealous well, this isn't on my land. Yeah, we have access at least. Yeah, that's true. Good. Cool. Cool run. This is awesome. We did this in a day. Well, <laughs> we had some help. Yeah. <laughs> we did not do this the day. They they built all the cobble. Yeah, that's true. That cobble must have taken a really long time. I it think it's unnecessarily too. large. I don't think it needs to be this tall. No, oh, but why not? You know. <laughs> <laughs> just making that, just running that wire up the side took way longer than I thought. Yeah, that wiring. <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, it's it's not that we didn't even do a good job. No. <laughs> all right, it's all finished. We walled off the redstone. They have a little ch couple chests set up with some good items, and this chest right here collects a lot of the good ones. I already took some, um, and these are all the <laughs> the mobs that are in there. I don't even have enough space to kill them, but it fills up pretty quick. 
and it, it just keeps coming even with this many people online. That's pretty freaking good. Good stuff. <clears throat> when it's running really well, this is what it looks like. There are only a couple people online right now. And they're pretty much spiders. And then back down. Yep, this is an intense grinder. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you learned something and I hope you get inspired to make your own darkroom spawner. If you plan a server that uses Craftbook, you can use this design, but if you don't, then you're going to have to use a similar design using water streams instead of sign bridges. Please do me a favor and click that like button.